Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve You can say there's no such thing as Santa But as for me and Grandpa, we believe Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, November 21st, 2009. This week, the reindeer was framed. How to use digital frames. The song says that Grandma got run over by a reindeer, but we think he was framed, digitally that is. If you're trying to frame a reindeer or anyone else this holiday season, here are a few pointers that will make the task a bit easier. Begin by opening a document the size and shape of your choice. Open a photo and the digital frame that you want to use. Make the photo the active document. Get the move tool and click and drag the photo down onto your new document. Next make the frame the active layer and still using the move tool click and drag the frame onto your new document. Target the photo layer and click and drag the photo into place. You can resize it using the corner handles here and you can tilt it using the side handles here. Confirm the size and the tilt by clicking the check mark. It's found here in Photoshop Elements, but in Photoshop it's found here in the options bar. Chances are you have some photos sticking out from behind the frame. To delete the section behind the frame, you can use one of two methods. You can either target the photo layer, get the eraser tool, and begin erasing away the section of the photo that falls outside the frame. An easier way to do this is to target the frame layer. Get the magic wand tool and click once inside the frame. This puts the selection inside the frame. You can see what's selected by following the marching ants. Select the end first by pressing Control shift i on a Mac system that's Command-Shift-I to select everything outside of that frame area. Now switch back to the photo layer and press Delete or Backspace on your keyboard. This erases everything outside of the frame window. Press Control D or on a Mac system Command D to remove the selection. When you're working with frames and you accidentally pull the frame in underneath the photo layer, there's an easy way to fix this. The photo is on top of the frame and that's not where we want it. So to fix it, come over here to your layers panel and simply drag the photo underneath the frame. Then you can continue resizing, repositioning, and erasing away the excess like before. Another problem you may run into is if you're using a frame that has a drop shadow already attached, when you use the magic wand tool to select the inside of the frame, it may come inside of the drop shadow. To fix this, go to Select, Modify, Expand, and just expand your selection by a few pixels. Then target your photo layer, select the inverse, and press Delete or Backspace on your keyboard. Press Control or Command D to remove the selection. Now you know how to frame or get framed this holiday season. Next week we'll continue our holiday preparation series with a tutorial on how to load and use a digital brush. Grandpa's gonna sew the pants off of Santa, that's what Grandpa's gonna do. Grandpa's gonna sew the pants off of Santa, cause Grandma would have wanted him to. Grandpa's gonna sew the pants off of Santa, he knows the law is on his side. Grandpa's gonna sew the pants off of Santa, Santa's going for a ride. Yesterday the judge arraigned the reindeer Rudolph was the first to take the stand They asked him for the truth about old Santa 
Rudy said he's just a fat and jolly man Now Santa is before the prosecution He looks a little thinner on the stand And if they take away his flying license There won't be any Christmas in the land